Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. We are into budgets preparation. Different types of budgets we have seen like uh, production budget, sales budget, cash budget and also we have seen in the last class uh, master budget, different types of budget. Now today is the last class we are going to discuss zero budget. Yes, it is one of the famous budget and uh, also useful latest technique I could say. Many companies, many organizations are using this zero based budget. What is this zero based budget? Before going to that, you must know that it is one of the managerial tool or managerial technique to handle the organizational problems, to enhance the organizational activities. For everything it is managerial tool. Now this zero based budget who have used first in the year 1962 in America the former president Jimmy Carter he has used first this zero based budget then after that people started using it what is this budget and how we can use it remember this like previous budgets it is not like previous budgets this is something different from previous budgets previous budgets what we have taken the data what happened all the data we have calculated and we have presented in a proper way either in sales budget or cash budget or production budget flexible budget everything we have presented properly but now here we are not going to do like this we are going to take the base we are not going to take the base of that previous year we are going to take the previous year's data as base and also based on that what are the inefficiencies what are the main problems related to that budget we are going to focus on that inefficiencies on that drawbacks on that mistake so that it should not repeat suppose say for example I'll give you a good uh, example say previous year we had a lot of costs costs are increased a lot overheads are more that was a drawback. Now in zero based budget we are going to focus on that particular point. Why were the costs are increasing a lot? What mistakes we have done? How can we decrease it? That is the main point. In the same way production uh, could not be increased much. So that was the last year's drawback. Why? How can we increase the uh, production? What is the latest technology we can use it? How can we decrease the cost? How can we increase it? What are the measuring steps are required that is we are going to discuss in the zero base budget. Are you getting it? In short you can say this method carries previous years inefficiencies. Previous years inefficiency if inefficiencies to the present year. Means whatever mistakes we have done in the last year that we wanted to rectify it. We wanted to focus on that. that mistakes should not repeat in future this is main object of zero base budget and previous year is not base we are not going to take the data of previous year just we are focusing on the inefficiencies that's all now in zero base budget there are different types of steps five steps are there let us focus on that different steps involved in zero base budget first step is the determine objective why do we want to prepare this zero base budget what is the main object why we are focusing on main, main object object means uh, some people say uh, different objects and another people are focusing on another objects for example some people are focusing on operating expenses some people are focusing on sales some people are focusing on production so the object should be common so that is why we have to determine the object what is the main object of preparing this zero base budget once if you determine it we have to focus on particular concepts then we'll go for the second step identify operational areas what are the areas operational areas that you have to identify we are not going to focus on entire organization all the concepts all the areas no we are going to focus only on particular areas so that is why identify operational areas then after that decision package decision package is one of the important step what is this decision package means this is nothing but a specific activity a specific activity on particular act concept that is we call it as a decision package then after that it comes to cost benefit analysis 
this is very much important cost benefit analysis cost you know that how much does it cost so we are going to focus on the cost either in the overheads point of view and what is the price they are deciding what they are paying for every concept that is cost analysis and benefit analysis what is the benefit we are going to get when we are spending when the cost is something what is the benefit we are getting so that we are comparing benefit is not much let's decrease the cost so this would be the next step once if you complete all these steps last fifth stage is that selecting approving decision packages and then finalizing the budget selecting all the selection is correct or not properly finally we are just making a final decision for selecting and approval decision packages and then finalizing the budget final this is the budget we are going to do this is the concept we are presenting this is we are going to implement it that comes to the final stage this is zero base budget right now in our subject we don't have practical problems but theory point of view you must understand what is this zero base budget am i clear take a screenshot or note down when i was student i used to focus more on this such kind of theory subjects also of course practical of course uh, apart from uh, practical i used to focus on theory because knowledge zero base budget i remembered very well anyway with this we have completed budgets all budgets we have completed with practicals theory and all these things by the way did you use all the videos check out in the playlist to find out all the budgets in a series wise playlist is there or otherwise description box also you can find it use it and please don't forget to forward this videos practice well see you in the next class with another interesting subject interesting topic till that period practice well good luck